All right, we are back. Uh, I've talked to the people at Ten Pines Bluff. They decided to join the Minutemen. <clears throat> now I have to go talk to Preston Carvey, and I have a feeling I know what he wants. So we're gonna run down real quick, and we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna talk to him. And uh, I got all my stuff on good. Now I did. Uh, I did improve the uh, Chinese assault rifle because, well, it's actually an assault rifle. And uh, I've turned the survivalist friend combat rifle into a sniper rifle. I dropped off my bolt action sniper rifle, but I kept my crossbow and my pistol. So we should be good to go and ready to go down and talk to Preston. Yeah. <clears throat> I definitely need to get some <laughs> some synth armor or something that this backpack will uh this uh jetpack will look better with. Or maybe a nano suit. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but I think I'm going to I think I'm going to join the Minutemen because um, I may actually need their help. And I know they need mine. And I don't really mind helping people. I just like for them to, uh, to try and help themselves, too. And again... Yeah, it's, it's very irritating when the game freezes up when I'm on the bike like that. What is that? Well, I mean, I know that's a traitor, but this dude's just... standing down there. All right, let's do it. Let's get this over with. that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flares up. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. All I know about this is the last one. Um... I'm not interested in your life story. Just hear me out. This is important. Have you heard of the Quinsy Massacre? No. I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the men and men betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the men and men to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? You could recruit. I don't know the first thing about the Minutemen. That doesn't matter. The Minutemen of the last few years are gone. And nobody's going to miss them. We don't need any more petty politics, or squabbling over resources, or arguing over who has seen your we need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. I think you've got to need to be that leader. Well, what makes you think I can do this? You saved us in Congress. There wasn't anything in it for you. You 
had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been a mighty short supply around here for quite a while. How did I know? Yeah, if I'm doing this shit, you are too. Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Let's see if I got a little bit more food to put down. That guy may be... Hey, Carla. You need a pitch bump in that? He may be staying around because he doesn't have anything to do. I've got a few minutes to browse. You break it? You're fired. All right. I will always take blood packs. Uh, let's see, carrots. Um, that's not too bad. Give me that jet. Give me that melon. Oh yeah, I'll take a mute fruit. All right. Do I have anything to get my money back though? Let's sell you 400 of those. All right. Okay. So let me go throw this uh, this down over here and get some more food going. And I know out of out of character, I know they stand down there if they have a mission for you. But I'm hoping it's not going to be a mission. All right, so let's throw some more carrots down here. How many carrots? Okay, two carrots. All right. Um, oh, I have enough corn to actually do the uh, these. I like to do corn in these because it actually it doesn't levitate basically. All right. Yeah, let's get rid of that grass there. More melons. You right there. Now these like to levitate too if they're not done right. Okay. And let's throw the razor green. Sometimes these things levitate too. I can't I can't stand levitating food, man. Alright. And I've got enough to do one of that. So that's what we'll do right here. Okay. Now we've got wait, why is there a new settler there? I do not have a beacon up.
That just hit me. Why is that guy there? Oh! 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 These are, are, uh, these are salvagers. The salvage beacon, these guys will come hang out in your town. Um, hey, no, no, no problem. So basically with the uh, salvagers here, that means that they've gone to uh, Corvega and picked up, uh, they've gone to, gone to Corvega and picked up the salvage I left in the, uh, I left in the uh, container. So that is one thing, because there, uh, there was a post on Reddit, uh, out of character again real quick. There was a post on Reddit, this guy's like, yeah, these salvagers are hanging around my town, I can't get rid of them or anything. And I was like, uh, hmm, that sounds like uh, something to do with the salvage beacon and the salvage station. And sure enough, uh, I did some research on it, and it was, and here they are. Two salvagers, and this, is, this wasn't Carla's uh, cow, I don't think, they have a... Uh, they have their own Brahmin that goes with them. So that's just something for you to know too. All right, so we're gonna finish off these that I didn't finish off. And uh, then we're gonna continue on with our mission. But at least these bugs here won't attack anybody now. Because if I leave them here and some settler runs across them, then I'll get a sanctuary is under attack. Okay. All right. Let's find out where we're going now. Back in character and everything. Where are we going? Sunshine tidings. We are not ready yet to get a new settlement that we're going to have to build from the ground up, basically. We're just not, uh, we're not ready for that yet. But we can probably, um, yeah, this is, this is the main quest line at the moment. I have to report this kidnapping somewhere, and I think it's, I think it's Diamond's, let me talk to Preston real quick, though. Hey, point it out. Excuse me. What's on your mind? Um, no. Culture's rain lets up soon. That's that was it. No problem. All right. All right. Okay. So <clears throat> the last advice that we got from uh, Crackhead was, uh, and I mean Mama Murphy, was to go to Diamond City. So instead of doing Sunshine Tidings, we may just go ahead and go to Diamond City. I would take the bike, but I have Preston now, and the game has been freezing up on me a little bit with the bike, which the game has uh, occasionally just uh, crashed the desktop and and, uh, and froze up anyway because I run with mods, and mods really screw up an already screwed up game sometimes. Um, so we're just going to run it for right now. And then uh, whenever I get back to base camp, I may just get the parts to fix that car. But with the car, you also have a limited number of places you can go to, and I think you have to discover them first. So, which makes sense to me, discovering a place before you can fast travel. So, and the car is basically just fast traveling. But we'll see. Now, as I was saying, I think by joining the Minutemen. Um, when and if the time comes, I'll have them for backup, but I still don't know which, which way I'm going with this guy. I don't know if he's going to agree or disagree with certain 
political factions or not. The only thing I do know is he will not side with the Brotherhood. And that's, that just goes with the storyline. He, he won't side with the Brotherhood. But I'm not going to give too much away. I'm just running over in my head how I want to how I want to build the guy. All right, we're going to we're going to avoid Lexington. Yeah, and it's raining. which could give us some good cover. And it looks like the rain's going to turn into... You could be right. I... Yep. It's turning into one of those. We're going to go ahead and just take some Rad-X. Oh, the only Rad-X I have. Okay. I'm going to take some Rad-X and keep moving. Because we're far enough away now where we can't, we can't get back to uh, any kind of uh, shelter. So we could either find a shelter, a shelter in place, or we could turn around and go back, and I'm not going to do that. I have a quest for that place, but I'm not going to go up there right now. What is that? Scribe Halen. Authorization arcs, Pharaoh, nine five. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. It's that way. Scribe Halen. <clears throat> Brotherhood of Steel. Reconnaissance squad, okay. Authorization arcs, Pharaoh, nine five. Our unit has sustained capital. So why is the Brotherhood pulling recon here? We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. All right. Well, that just pissed him on Cheerios. Thought I got away from these guys. Is that, um, yep, that's what I thought. Brotherhood of Steel. Well, we're not going to go up there right now. They're in a pretty good firefight, though. Maybe if I go up there and help them, they'll go away.
Preston. Smiling Larry. I met him on the way in. Is that who this is? Yep. You looking to trade? Smiling Larry's got what you want. Let's see what you got, buddy. Smiling Larry has what you need, guaranteed. Hmm. Um, I'll take both of those, thanks. All right, uh, let's do 400 more. That's why I've been collecting 38. All right, there we go. This is the furthest I've been from base camp ever. stuff. I don't have time for you right now. I do have time for aluminum cans, though. Uh, it's still raining. At least the uh, uh, rat storm didn't last that long. Don't get in front of me. Billy? I didn't even notice that. Wow. Brahmin meat. I get for free what they've been wanting to charge me 60 some odd caps for. Wait, did I miss the, yeah, I missed the hanging bag. Looks like getting to Diamond City is uh, going to be where we stop. Really steamed, Piper. In that article you 
And you look like a sleaze bag. My dog's going stupid. I'm going to have to uh, end it here, actually. Um. Wow, I passed that. shrivels away when talk of missing persons I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking to Gunna. That's all you're good for. Right. So, it's a missing person you're after, but you don't say who or why they matter to you. Why don't you come by my office later? I think maybe I can help you out. After I get some answers. That's new. All right. I like that. Okay. We're going to stop this one here. We're at the 30 minute mark. Uh, and we will continue it. Uh, so just thank you for watching and keep an eye out for the next one.